If you remember a few times back I made a video how to make an animated curved line like this where I used the light sort technique and different different types of manipulation but in that video my line was completely solid but in today's video I will apply some dash effect or dotted effect. Now some of you are thinking it's pretty simple to make a dotted line and it totally makes sense because if you go to any kind of program you can see already dotted line effect is there. You simply click it and it will be applied. But if you're using HitFilm Express, there is no option for dotted line. In fact, on HitFilm Express, there is no option for making a single solid line. We normally make a plane, then reduce the scale, and in that way, we always make a line. So now the challenge is how to bring this dash effect or dotted effect on the line, which brings our today's video how to make a dotted line effect using HitFilm Express. So the first step, you just make your composite shot, and here I will set my duration 3 seconds and set my frame rate 60 FPS so that I can have a smooth animation. And once my composite shot is ready, I'll first make my plane layer. Here you should note one thing. I have used the black color plane layer and there is a strong reason behind it. At the end of the video, I'll tell you why I have chosen this black color plane. So the next step is you go to the search effect and search light sword effect. Light sword two point layer and you drag it in the plane layer. So first of all, I'll remove this glow effect and I made this color white. You can choose any color like green, blue, whatever you want. But for this video, I will use only the white color. Now in this light sort line, you will see there is two point, heat and tip. If you watched my previous video, you already know what is heat and tip. In that video, I already explained that. And under the tip section, you will see this extension parameter. And using this parameter, you can animate the line. And currently, you can see my animation is from left to right. But if you want, you want to have your animation from right to left, you simply exchange both heat and tip. Like this. And you can see this reverse animation from right to left. Well, up to this much, it's pretty simple. Now the question is how you can apply that dotted effect. Well, on HitFilm Express, there is no specific features for the dotted line. So you have to use another effect. So you go to the search and type grid. So this is the grid effect you can see. And you drag this and apply it here. Once you apply, you can see some fancy like structure. Under the blend option, you will see this stencil alpha. You have to activate this. By doing this, my entire fancy becomes like a dotted line. You can play with now border radius. Plus, you can play with the position for both point 0.1 and point 0.2 to have different variation. Once you made, you will see this nice straight line animation with the dotted line effect. So this is just only the straight line. Now how to make the curve by applying the same dotted effect. Now from up to here, everything will be same as my previous video where I explain how to make animated line. So first of all, I'll make first one point layer and let's rename it as a controller. And for now, I will remove the all the extension keyframes. And then I will make the positions value for both hit and tip zero so that my line becomes a point. You can see my line is now a point. Now the most important, you have to change the position from none to your point layer for both hit and tip. So basically what I am doing now, I am giving the control of the animation to the point layer. Now my point layer will control the entire animation. You go to the point layer now and change your position and animate according to your choice. You can see this part of the animation here, but there is no line here. So the next step is we have to draw the line here. And for that, you have to go to the light source property again. Simply deactivate the auto scale property. You already know, make the stability 100. And the final thing, the most important, raise the value of the motion persistence. By increasing the value, you will see the line. If you reduce the value, my line will be shorter. And if you increase the value, my line will be longer. This is exactly same with my previous video. And finally, you will see this nice animated line with the dotted effect. Now, a couple of minutes back, I talked about that you should always choose the black background in a composite shot. So what is the reason behind it? If you choose the black background, you can easily change the blending mode to get rid of this black portion so that you can use it any kind of video footage or any kind of image. 
and if you choose any other color background then probably it may work or it may not work so having a black color is always perfect as a background this video is exactly same with my previous video but just by adding this dotted line by using the grid effect so i highly recommend to watch the previous video where i explain each and every steps about the light store effect and its all parameters drop in your comments and let me know about this video for any questions smash like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video